Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint by Sing Shong Chapter 141 The Ultimate Sacrifice Part 1 Thirty minutes later, all the sixth grade monsters were cleaned up. My party members and I were very active, particularly Gong Pildu. It was a rewarding moment for one of the ten evils. We can take a break now. What about four hours later? Li Jaihai wondered while slipping her sword back into the sheath at her waist. I looked around and the fighting in the area was also entering a lull. I didn't know about other areas, but at least we protected this one. Of course, not everyone was safe. Father. Please wake up. Father. Somebody help. Many incarnations who didn't have the know-how yet couldn't resist the sixth grade monsters. There were those who suffered severe trauma from the heavy hound's paws or had their internal organs burst. Most of them were new incarnations. Asterisk current number of incarnations, 90,531 people. It was only the first wave and one-tenth of Seoul Dome had died. A little further away, Yu Jong-hyuk was watching the incarnations. I became a bit nervous as I watched Yu Jong-hyuk. The Dakibi stated that the sacrifice of the strongest incarnation would save all the incarnations in Seoul Dome. Hey, Yu Jong-hyuk. Yu Jong-hyuk turned to look at me. I didn't know exactly what scenery held value for Yu Jong-hyuk. As I said every time, reading Ways of Survival didn't really tell me about this person. After all, I was only understanding the text, which had been processed and transmitted to me. Some things couldn't be read because they were unreadable. Let me talk to you for a bit. We went to the rooftop of a high-rise building. On the way, I used Character List on Yu Jong-hyuk for the first time in a while. The exclusive skill, Character List is activated. There is too much information about this person. Character List is converted to Summary List. Only randomly specified items will be displayed according to user's convenience. Plus. Character List Summary, Name, Yu Jong-hyuk. Constellation Support? Private Attribute, Regressor, Third Turn, Myth, Pro Gamer, Rare, Supreme King, Hero. Exclusive Skills, Sage's Eyes LV9, Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat LV10, Advanced Weapons Training LV10, Advanced Mental Barrier LV3, 100 Steps Godly Fists LV9, Red Phoenix Shuenpa LV8, Splitting the Sky LV8. Omitted. Stigma, Regression LV3, Transmission LV5. Plus. This guy still didn't know who his sponsor was. I already knew why it wasn't visible. Even in the original Ways of Survival, Yu Jong-hyuk's sponsor wasn't revealed in the end. I thought maybe it would show up in the epilogue, but unfortunately, I couldn't read the epilogue of Ways of Survival. His sponsor was more resistant to the probability than any constellations I knew. They had the power to turn back the wheels of time while deceiving other constellation. Until the end of Ways of Survival, the constellation didn't provide anything other than regression to Yu Jong-hyuk. I didn't know exactly who they were and what they wanted to gain from Yu Jong-hyuk. Is there a way to kill Nirvana? This jerk, he was always so impatient. He had been given time to rest, but he was still busy thinking. Regardless of his depressed state, Yu Jong-hyuk was Yu Jong-hyuk. Before that, let's take a moment to breath. The view is great. I said while sitting on the roof railing. Yu Jong-hyuk asked me, what are you up to? I'm just looking at the world. Isn't it beautiful? The city of Seoul was destroyed by the monsters. I quickly added, it was originally a beautiful place. I don't like landscapes. Why? They are things that will disappear someday. I thought I had a bit more understanding of the third regression Yu Jong-hyuk after fighting against Shin Yu-sung. I wanted to believe he was a person who could love this world without giving up or feeling despair. I told him, however, we need to protect these things. Kim Dokja, you don't know. This might be my misunderstanding. Yu Jong-hyuk could give up at any time because he was still in the midst of his regressions. In the end, Yu Jong-hyuk's purpose was to prevent the destruction of this world. Paradoxically, he could give up on this world at any time. 
His essence was regression and this fact would never change. No, I know, I replied. What? The fact that you can regress at any time means that death is meaningless. I looked down at Lee Silwa, caring for the injured. Lee Silwa was feeding her boiled soup to an unknown person. Despite her efforts, there was a high probability that the character would die. Even if they lied now, they would die tomorrow. If they miraculously survived tomorrow, they would die the day after tomorrow. It was the same in the fourth regression and the fifth regression. There would always be death in the world of Yu Jong Hyuk, even after passing the 100th regression. If there is no sense of death, then the value of life also disappears. What do you know? Yu Jong Hyuk, wake up. Don't think things will improve if you repeat them a few times. Yu Jong Hyuk remained silent, like he was surprised by my hard words. There is a chance that you can do better in the fourth regression. However, there is also a chance that won't happen. Have you already forgotten the theater dungeon? If I hadn't appeared at that time, the next regression will obviously be better. There were many unexpected things in this round, so the next round will certainly be better. Why? Do you know a lot of the future? There was the vague belief that he could do better in the next round with more information. It was easy for him to give up on this regression if something went wrong. This was the precursor symptom of regression depression. Some of the contents of ways of survival passed through my head. It was around the 48th regression. Yu Jong Hyuk had consulted with an incarnation of the constellation Discoverer of the Subconscious on the regression depression. At the time, he seemed to be speaking like I was now. I continued speaking, yes. It might be as you say. If you repeat it 10 or 20 times, then it will surely get better. You'll be exposed to more scenarios and see more of the future. The real problem is when you someday save the world in this matter. What does this mean? At that time, do you really think you saved this world? Do you think you will be able to keep the same mindset after repeating it 100 or 200 times? I won't regress that many times. I silently stared at Yu Jong Hyuk. Don't tell me? Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes slowly widened. I kept speaking, are you having nightmares these days? You won't be saved, even if you save the world. The moment you save the world, the world you have forsaken will come to you. Despite saving one world, all the other worlds you abandoned will drag you to hell. Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes shook. Perhaps it was something he was already dimly aware of. Thus, live this round properly. Shin Yusung was destroyed after wandering for countless years. You will be more than that. The more you repeat the turns, the more out of control you will become. Ask yourself. How different are you now from the beginning? That, Yu Jong Hyuk's expression hardened. His eyes were shaking violently. The Yu Jong Hyuk from the beginning couldn't have done this. Don't imagine that you will get better if you throw away this round. Maybe this is the round where you will see the end of this world as a human. Yu Jong Hyuk closed his mouth. He wanted to say something but the words didn't come out. There was an intense conflict on his face. Yes, Yu Jong Hyuk. Feel conflicted. What would happen to me if he regressed? The mental state of the character, Yu Jong Hyuk, is slightly restored. I could see a faint light of determination in Yu Jong Hyuk's face. Every world was goddamn hard. It was the same for this world. Every time you restart, live with all your strength. A cool wind blew, and we looked down at the ruined city together. This scenario has a strong event propensity. The flow will return to the direction we know. The future you know will be available again. Don't you still have many hidden pieces that only you know? If Soul Dome is somehow liberated. At this moment, the door of the rooftop slammed open with a loud sound and people fell down. The first one who fell down was Gong Pildu and Lee Jai Hai and the children were on top of him. Wah! Don't push! Ah, I wonder what they're talking about. A juicy, why did you do that? A man shouldn't interfere with a person's conversation. A man is a rat. I could roughly guess the situation. The constellation demon-like judge of fire's eyes are shining. 
All of you, I spoke before Lee Jaihai spoke more bullshit. Don't joke around today. I'm not in the mood. The constellation demon-like judge of fire is sad. It didn't matter if the constellation was sad or not. The important one right now was Yu Jonghyuk. Uriel wasn't giving us coins now, so I hoped she would go to Yong Hee Won. Yu Jonghyuk opened his mouth. I have been making a plan for this scenario. A plan? What is it? Yu Jonghyuk turned towards me. This scenario is one where the strongest incarnation must die. I have been thinking about it. I suddenly got goosebumps. Why was that bastard looking at me when he said this? Li Jaihai spoke with slight excitement. Oh, we were also talking about that. How did you decide? Who is the strongest incarnation? Of course it is me. I looked at the confident Yu Jonghyuk and realized that my worries were a misunderstanding. Well, he was a prideful person. No, wait a minute. The fact that this scenario ended when the strongest incarnation died and he thought it was himself. Do you mean to die? I asked him. I will be able to stop this scenario if I die. I was a bit moved by his noble mindset. Damn, his regression depression suddenly seemed a bit cool. However, I couldn't let him actually die. Aren't you being too hasty? Is there any guarantee that you are the strongest? For example, me. The party members looked at me at the same time. Li Jaihai hit me on the shoulder and laughed exaggeratedly. Hey, are you being serious? Dr. Hyung is kinda, Li Gilyoung looked at me with pity while Shin Yusung was confused. Even Gong Pildu and Min Jaiwen were the same. There is no need to ask. Isn't the Supreme King still stronger? Wait, didn't Ajusi say that he defeated the Salvation Leader? Bullseye. Is the Salvation Leader really that strong if Ajusi could defeat him? I didn't see it, but he must have used a strange trick. No? In a sense, it was correct. My mood was somewhat strange as I added an excuse. I was just using myself as an example. The Salvation Leader might be stronger than Yu Jonghyuk. In fact, I had a pretty hard time before. Li Jaihai's eyes widened with surprise. Master, is this real? That guy doesn't fit with me. Yu Jonghyuk's words threw the party into confusion. Then, isn't the Salvation Leader the strongest? Oh my god, there is a person stronger than Master? However, what is the criteria for the ranking? Combat power? Or is it the person who wins in a fight? I replied to Min Jiwen's question. It is possible they are using overall combat power. In the first place, not everyone can fight each other. There could be a change after fighting. That reminds me, what did the Dakibi say? He is the strongest, so he would know the most. We looked at Yu Jonghyuk. Yu Jonghyuk, is there something different from usual? Did the Dakibi say anything to you? Yu Jonghyuk formed a fist and slowly replied, Well, I haven't heard anything. I looked around at the party members and said, I don't think we can confirm anything. Then what should we do? Let's just think that this is a good thing. After all, none of us here want Yu Jonghyuk to die. For now, let's make a reasonable judgment that Nirvana is the strongest and get rid of him. If it turns out that the Supreme King is the strongest, we will think about it then. Min Jiwen told me, the Salvation Church is in Gangbuk. It isn't easy to approach, because the borders are heavily guarded and there is a huge difference in force. Even if we all go, we won't go there. We'll make him come to us. How? Will he respond? It would just be a loss for him, you are thinking with common sense. However, Nirvana wasn't a person with common sense. Chapter 142 the Ultimate Sacrifice Part 2 The monsters flocked from the outskirts of Seoul. Maybe there was a gate where they were created and the rating of the monsters would skyrocket in four-hour intervals. In other words, the time we had was eight hours at the most. I had to lure Nirvana in to make him confront you John Hyuk. I think I can do it. I left the party members and called Baekhyun through the Dakibi communication. 
However, the voice that came back was from Yunki. I'm sorry, Bai Hyung is a bit busy right now. That Bai Hyung bastard, he became sloppy as soon as he was going to be promoted. He was an ungrateful bastard. I had been trying to raise his performance, but he didn't know how to repay favors. There are random boxes and new scenarios, right? Yes. It came out. I'll have ten of them. I thought it was good, but Yunki surprisingly hesitated. The odds of the random boxes are terrible, will you be okay? It will be fine. I knew what the Dakibi was worried about. Could a person like this survive? You have purchased 10 main scenario number 8 special random boxes. You have spent 30,000 coins. We will stop here. Yes. I wish you the blessing of the story. Yankee's voice disappeared and 10 shiny boxes appeared in the air. They were colorful boxes with large question marks. Lee Gilyoung asked me, Hyung, is that what we see in games? If you open it, you get a random good item. The little kids noticed the fastest. Yes, that's right. Random box. A gambling item that had a low probability of giving SSS grade weapons and SSS grade skills. This was an item designed by Dakibis to trick the blind constellations. Why did I buy the box? The constellation Maritime War God is a bit disappointed in you. The constellation Maritime War God says that the basis of longevity is integrity. The constellation Bald General of Justice advises you to be wary of luxury. The constellation Lady of the Brocade Sleep wants you to donate if you have coins. Min Jiwen's face turned red at the Lady of the Brocade Sleep's message. I, I am sorry. My sponsor is a bit. It's fine. In fact, this isn't a very expensive product. Let's do it together. I'll give you one to change your mood. You will give it? Really? Yes. You can keep any main items that come out of the box. I would be grateful if you. Just give me any auxiliary item that comes out as a consumable. I originally planned to sell it for a few coins, but the people here had some relationship with me. It would help me if their power increased. Thus, it wasn't a business with any losses. Lee Jaihai was excited about being given something free and snatched a box first. Wow, since a juicy said so. I will make good use of it. Then Gong Pildu and Lee Gilyoung took a box. Hyung, what if I get a SSS grade? It is tough since the odds are 0.00001%. Really? It is business acumen. Let's just be fooled for today. Yu Jong Hyuk scrutinized me and said, Kim Dokja. Do you think an item will come out that will help me deal with Nirvana? Well, it is similar. It is a pathetic plan. This jerk also took a box. Finally, Shin Yu Sung was the last one to take a box. I'll give you two. Shin Yu Sung's eyes widened with surprise. Really? Yes. Shin Yu Sung hesitated for a moment before taking the boxes from me. Somehow, the child's expression wasn't ordinary. I looked closely, and there were tears in her eyes. Do I deserve something like this? The past of Shin Yu Sung came to my mind. Maybe this was Shin Yu Sung's first gift since she was born. There were many people with this type of convenient setting in ways of survival. The convenience of someone would be the real unhappiness of someone else. I handed the box to Shin Yu Sung, who was wiping her eyes. Take this. You're my incarnation. That alone is enough to be deserving. I regretted not taking care of her earlier as I saw Shin Yu Sung's face turn red with liking. I wasn't yet qualified to be a constellation, so I couldn't give Shin Yu Sung a stigma. Was it the right choice to take care of this child? Maybe this child would be unhappy because of me. For now, it was unknown. However, I would do my best to protect this child. Then let's try opening them. Think of it as a diversion. Everyone nodded and started opening the boxes. The main scenario number 8 special random box has been used. You have acquired two Elaine Forest Essence. One fairly usable pair of boots, E, have been acquired. 
other consumables have been acquired. This was it. The only things that came out were E-grade items and consumables. The situation was the same for the other party members. Well, I expected it. In the first place, the random box. Congratulations! Someone has broken the probability of 0.00001%. Grand celebration firecrackers appeared in the air. I turned and saw triumph on Shin Yusung's face. Don't tell me? Really? Eh, juicy? The small fruit in Shin Yusung's scattered a bright light. I went closer, and the identity of the item became clear. Oh my god, this was what she received? How was my incarnation so lucky? The watching you Jong Hyuk was also a bit surprised. You got something good. The SSS grade item, Ancient Beast's Fruit. Among the SSS grade items with a 0.00001% chance of appearing, the item with the worst probability was the Ancient Beast's Fruit. It was a consumable item, but the usage was worth its rating of SSS. If you feed this fruit to a monster you can't tame, you will be able to tame it. Congratulations. Save it for the right time. There was no better item for Shin Yusung, who could use taming. If this was used on a monster that could evolve beyond the first grade, Shin Yusung might be able to grow beyond the 41st version. Shin Yusung looked between me and the fruit with sparkling eyes. A juicy, this is great, but can it only be used on monsters? Perhaps. Why? It's nothing. Shin Yusung blushed cutely as she watched me before avoiding my eyes. Lee Gilliam drooled and rushed over to her side. Hey, can't you give me that? I'll give you my Titano. I hate insects. Lee Jaihai watched like she was jealous. A juicy, why are you doing this? Do you really want to change our mood? Of course not. Give me the consumables that came out from the box. I was aiming for the consumables that came out from the box since the beginning. Loudspeaker, Dome Channels, X4 have been acquired. Loudspeaker, General Channels, X4 have been acquired. Loudspeaker, Area Only, X2 have been acquired. Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes narrowed. I know what you want to do. Loudspeaker. They were useful consumables that could send messages to specific channels or entire areas, depending on the options. However, just saying a few words to that guy. I told you John Hyuk, the important thing is what you say. I used a loudspeaker. Then let's get started. I started the story that would attract Nirvana. At this time, Nirvana was in the temporary base of the church. Nirvana had his eyes shut while the statue of Avalokite's Bara Bodhisattva looked down on him. Don't hang on to the past or look to the future. The past had already disappeared and the future hadn't come yet. Nirvana memorized these phrases, but the doctrine wasn't spread by voice. Sweat covered his forehead. Sparks bounced all around his body. After a while, his eyes turned white and a message came. You have succeeded in learning a new skill. Nirvana opened his eyes. It was unreasonable. His stigma, succession, consumed probability when used. Therefore, he couldn't use succession unless he used the story that had accumulated through his reincarnations to provide some plausible probability. I've lost too much story. His past disappeared, but Nirvana soon regained his composure. There were some things that must be emptied in order to live in the present. He struggled with the energy consumed as he headed into the depths of the church. He went down to the basement and after passing through a corridor, a gentle light appeared. It was a room with an antique-style table and a double bed. It was a well-equipped room with a warm atmosphere. I've kept you waiting. Then shall we begin today's session? There were two women sitting at a table in the room. They were the vanished king of wanderers, Lee Suk Young, and Yu Sangha. Yu Sangha's eyes were wide as she stared into the air and Lee Suk Young asked. When will you release the skill on this child? Thought infection. Over a week had passed, but Yu Sangha was still resisting. Nirvana laughed. I'm not releasing it. You have to solve it yourself. It was interesting from Nirvana's standpoint. It is a foolish thing. 
She is resisting when she simply has to declare that she will live in the present. The value of the past is different for those who live a short life. It is because you live a short life that you should put more value in the present. You are blessed with death, but you don't know the value of it. Don't judge other people's present based on yourself. She is living in the present enough. You are the one ignorant about the present because you reincarnate over and over. Don't forget. I'm only keeping you alive until your story is worthy. Lee Sukiyang's face was relaxed, despite the threat. She was like Scheherazade in 1001 Nights. Nirvana slowly pulled out a chair and sat down. He demanded, tell me the information I want to know. What do you want to know? The incarnation called Kim Dokja. Lee Sukiyang's smile stiffened for the first time. I don't know that incarnation. There is no use in pretending. I already know that he is your son. The neutral guy told me. He and I parted when he was young. I have no idea about how he has been living. I'll see when I look inside you. The bright wheel of life started to turn behind Nirvana. Inside the wheel of life, the thousand hands of Avalokite's Vara started to stretch out. The gigantic hand covered Lee Sukyung's head. Lee Sukyung glared at the hand in a displeased manner. Nirvana threatened, open your memories, or the woman next to you will die. It is a childish threat. You have been giving in to this childish threat. That is what a human is. Lee Sukyung stared at Yusenga's blank eyes and sighed. Do what you want. The exclusive skill origin of principal and secondary causes LV6 has been activated. Avalokite's Vara's hand firmly dug into Lee Sukyung's head. Lee Sukyung's story flowed and started to entangle with Nirvana's story. There was a sense of being one. Nirvana's senses trembled. He chewed, tasted, ate and enjoyed. He was a genuine Epicurean of the Star Stream. It is really amazing. How does a human like you have filtered information of the future? Lee Sukyung desperately tried to protect the memories, but the fragmentary future knowledge she obtained from Kim Dokja couldn't rebel against the flow of origin of principal and secondary causes, and they were sucked into Nirvana. Interesting. This is the essence of Kim Dokja. You are a sad mother. You lied to your child. You deceived your child for your own dogmatism. Cold anger filled Lee Sukyung's face as she declared, you won't be able to win against that child. I admit that he is an interesting incarnation. He was one that forced Nirvana to use succession. However, he was only human. It was just up to here. Then a message rang in the air. Applying for a duel with the Salvation Church's leader, Nirvana Mobius. The surprised Nirvana looked up at the air. It was Kim Dokja using the loudspeaker. Lee Sukyang spoke like she had been waiting. That child is strong and wise. He knows what he needs and what he can do best. The place of the duel is Gwangwaman at 2 p.m. today. The person you will be confronting is the Supreme King Yu Jong Hyuk. The two people closest to being the strongest incarnations will fight to defend Soul Dome. If you are really living in the present, don't avoid this confrontation. Using the present as an excuse? It was a confrontation that couldn't be avoided if he was a real savior. Furthermore, the clever use of the loudspeaker was amazing. If he avoided this confrontation, he would receive the chastisement of all the incarnations in Soul Dome as well as the Salvation members. However, he would be a fool to go after knowing it was a trap. Nirvana laughed. The provocation is decent. Then what should I do? In any case, my goal isn't to clear the scenario. My purpose is great. Of course, your great plan won't consent to this confrontation. However, Nirvana stiffened at Kim Dokja's words. If you come now, I will give you a chance to become one with you John Hyuk. Nirvana was so astonished that he let go of origin of principal and secondary causes. He shivered in anger, wonder, and an unknown sense of shame and bit his lips. Lee Sukyung felt Nirvana's intense urge through the string that connected them. It was a desire to combine with one person for a bigger story. Lee Sukyung laughed at the desire. I told you that you are going to lose. Okay. 
Nirvana's answer came quickly. The party members looked blank, as if they didn't know what to expect. I stood up and shook off my dizziness. Doc Jess Asai, how, no, are you okay? Min Jiwen looked anxiously at the black bruise around my left eye. It was the trace left behind by Yu Jong Hyuk after I sold his name. I rubbed my eyes and asked, has that jerk left already? I even fell unconscious for a while. Damn, that ignorantly powerful man. He left as soon as he heard the answer. Then we will go as well. Lee Gilliung's slightly sour expression became excited. Dr. Hyung, I'm glad we're fighting together this time. Yes. I couldn't laugh. Nirvana would have surely gained new skills and couldn't be challenged as easily as before. Of course, Yu Jong Hyuk would also defend himself so victory or defeat wouldn't be easy to predict. In fact, I wasn't interested in their fight. The real problem was the loud message in my head. You are currently the strongest incarnation in Seoul. Now, what should I do? Chapter 143 The Ultimate Sacrifice Part 3 Our party arrived near Gwangwaman half an hour before the promised time. In the meantime, the same message appeared in my head. You are currently the strongest incarnation in Seoul. Damn, I wanted to say that I already knew. Frankly, I felt embarrassed every time I heard it. I couldn't guarantee victory against Yu Jong Hyuk even if I used all my power and I barely managed to beat Nirvana. Why was I the strongest? Then a sentence from the 51st Regression in Ways of Survival appeared. Strength and weakness in the star stream have nothing to do with the power or skill proficiency. The standards of strength come from the story. Then there were the words that Nirvana had said. Strength and weaknesses are ultimately determined by the story. Doc Jess SI. In the distance, Lee Hyun Sung and Yong Hee Won were approaching. It seemed their bond with each other was stronger after overcoming the difficult situation together. Yong Hee Won waved at me. I saw the proclamation of war. It was very beautiful. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Hyun Sung SSI was a bit hurt, I will be fine. He is just bluffing. At the end of Yong Hiwen's words, Lee Hyun Sung struck his chest to prove he wasn't bluffing. It was exaggerated, but it was hard to see it as a bluff. Lee Hyun Sung had started to inherit the story of the Master of Steel. Perhaps Lee Hyun Sung was one of the top five incarnations in Seoul Dome. He was strengthened by inheriting the story. Lee Hyun Sung was the perfect example of strength as a story. It was the price of a story that determined strength in this world. Perhaps I was ranked as the strongest incarnations because the stories I accumulated in this life were at an impossible level. Of course, the stories of the regressor Yu Jong Hyuk and reincarnator Nirvana were also formidable, but their story was of the past. The landscape of Gwangwaman started to be seen in the distance. I checked the time. Three hours and forty minutes had passed since the first wave. Once every four hours, the monsters would come. The second wave would soon be upon us. The fifth grade monsters will soon come. Will the other incarnations be okay? It will be fine here. I looked around and the eyes of Yong Hee Won and the party members moved with me. It was more crowded than it was ten minutes ago and the number of people was growing. This, Yong Hee Won seemed to realize something. Shouts came from all over the place. Everyone in Seoul was gathering at Gwangwoman. Let's defeat the Salvation Church's leader. We have to kill him to end this scenario. People armed with weapons were shouting. No one was talking about freedom or equality. It was because the humans of the present were too shabby to talk about such a grand concept. Instead, they gathered for survival. Follow the Supreme King. Break the Salvation Church. Lee Hyun Sung looked at the scene with a complicated gaze and said, Doc Jess SI knew this would happen. I did expect it. No matter how many new incarnations came in or how popular the Salvation Church was, the majority of the soul population were existing incarnations. They just needed a focal point to go beyond factions. Gong Pilda looked at the crowd and sighed. South Korea is ruined. Damn it. 
Are the lawmakers who were going to return my land dead? You are saying those words in a situation like this? Li Jiahai clicked her tongue and Gong Pilda rubbed his lips. What about you Senga? I heard she was caught by the Salvation Church. We'll go and get her. However, not right now. I couldn't be hasty. Even Nirvana wouldn't dare touch the terminal of the Nebula Olympus unless he was thinking about a war between nebulae. All of Gwangwaman was becoming heated up by the incarnations when a shining message appeared in the air. Plus. Hint 2. The ninth strongest incarnation in Seoul Dome is Insect Boy Lee Gilyoung. Plus. Lee Gilyoung's eyes shone when his name was called. Hyung, I'm ninth. It is ridiculous. I'm weaker than that kid? Lee Jaihai grumbled. Stop talking and get ready. The party members nodded simultaneously. The second hint was announced and the second wave would soon begin. Roars were heard from the outskirts of Seoul and the cries of monsters started to be heard. Fifth grade monsters that could be classified as small disasters started to emerge. In order words, it was a level that ordinary incarnations couldn't handle. Fortunately, all the incarnations were gathered near Gwangwaman and it wasn't an impossible fight. The narrower the area to protect, the easier it was to save the incarnations. We have to settle this in four hours. After that, fourth grade monsters will start to emerge. It is the end once that happens. The parry members nodded. There was nothing scary about small disasters but they didn't want to see the monsters of the upper rank. I asked Gong Pildu and Lee Hyunsung to lead the incarnations and form a defense network. Leave it to me. Gwangwaman will become my land after this scenario is over. I smiled and replied, go ahead. Do what you want. Sadly, once the scenario was over, the sole land that Gong Pildu desired wouldn't exist. I led the rest of the group to the center of Gwangwaman. In the center of Gwangwaman, there was a large doe that didn't originally exist. It wasn't an original building. There was no stadium in Gwangwaman. It was a space that the Salvation Church temporarily added. The interior of the dome was still opaque, but when I looked closely, a doll is standing on top and giving a speech. All incarnations, who is our real enemy? Why are we now pointing our spears and swords towards each other? Young Hee Won frowned at the voice. It is the neutral king. The neutral king was using voice amplification at the top of the dome like he was a dakibi. I naturally understand your feelings. Whether it is the salvation members or other forces, we are all weak people. We are just victims of the scenario. In fact, you know. There is no point in fighting between us here. This is what the Dakibi wants. Shut up. It was the Salvation Church who started fighting first. Yes. Kill him. John Eldo laughed lightly. Everyone, don't you know that the monsters are coming? Soul will be destroyed if we fight. Then what are you going to do? Everyone knows this is a scenario where we can live if the strongest incarnation sacrifices themselves. The opaque exterior of the stadium became transparent and the interior started to show. There were two people standing on a stage with the gorgeous spotlight behind them. The two heroes who are coming forward for the incarnations of Soul Dome. I will introduce you to the strongest incarnation candidates. The Salvation members on the opposite side of the dome clapped loudly. Yu Jong Hyuk. Yu Jong Hyuk. Nirvana. Nirvana. The incarnation seemed baffled by the sudden change of atmosphere. W what is this? Are they fighting already? I knew what they were thinking. What if we can clear the scenario like this? Regardless of whether it is the salvation leader or the supreme king, isn't it good for us if both of them die in this fight? Every human was a coward. Nirvana knew when humans were the most cowardly. It was time for the unattainable future. Some people had already died while others would fight back and find a way to live. I approached the dome and hit the wall. The incarnation, John Eldo, is using Fair Duel LV3. All incarnations apart from those involved in the duel aren't allowed to enter the stage. He used the stigma of Gwanghagen. 
In this case, no one apart from Yoo Jong Hyuk and Nirvana could physically get involved in the battle. I spoke to Young Hee Won and Lee Jae Hai. Kill John Ildo. The next moment, something burst from inside the stadium. Finally, the battle between Yoo Jong Hyuk and Nirvana started. There was a gigantic screen above the dome that was created by the Dakibi. You are doing something interesting. I think it will be a fun fight, so I'm prepared to let everyone see it. On the screen, I could see Yoo Jong Hyuk's two swords and Nirvana's white magic power colliding. Yoo Jong Hyuk's breaking the sky sword and Nirvana's mandala caused a storm in the space. Dozens of exchanges were done in a short amount of time. It was a cautious and elaborate battle. They used transmission or succession to read the other person's skills and tried to gain an advantage. This was a confrontation between a regressor and a reincarnator. It was Nirvana who moved first in earnest. Nirvana's mandala rotated quickly, spinning his magic power as a threat that attacked Yu Jong Hyuk's body. Yu Jong Hyuk jumped high into the sky, avoiding the white magic power. At first glance, it seemed like an endless number. It was because the white magic power acted according to his movements. Yu Jong Hyuk quickly spun his blades to hit the mandala's power, but unfortunately missed two bundles. Blood poured from his left shoulder and thigh. A loud sound emerged from the mouth of an incarnation. John Eldo was making a fuss as he nervously fled from Yoon Hee Won. Ah, it will be like this? However, Yoo Jong Hyuk was calm. Yoo Jong Hyuk jumped near the dome ceiling and dived down while holding the heavenly sword of gathering clouds. Blue magic power was nestled in the sword, but Nirvana was already finishing his defense. Come on, Yoo Jong Hyuk. At this moment, the size of the heavenly sword of gathering clouds suddenly changed. It was transformed into a giant sword and started to grow to the size of a tall building. Yoo Jong Hyuk's arm holding the sword was the same. It was like the right arm of a giant god. Giant body transformation. The surprised Nirvana tried to lead the range of the blade, but it was already too late. The weight of the blade that split the sky literally fell onto Nirvana. There was a huge roar, and the entire stage was filled with dust. Ku. Nirvana was hit hard and lay in a deep pit made by Yu Jong Hyuk's sword. The incarnations exclaimed. Numerous arms had emerged from the mandala. The thousand hands of Avalokite's Vara. The hands of the Bodhisattva were fighting against the giant sword. If it wasn't for the dome, the area would have been destroyed by the collision. All the incarnation were overwhelmed by the sight. This is a showdown between the strongest and soul. The strongest. I somehow felt bitter. I swallowed the bitter taste and used omniscient reader's viewpoint. On the surface, it seemed like a simple confrontation of strength, but in this moment, there was a flow of thoughts between Nirvana and Yu Jong Hyuk. Nirvana thought, did the level of mental barrier go up? The magic power wavelength is becoming stronger. Your skill level is lower than I thought. What did you gain from succession? You act like your left shoulder is hurt, but that is a trap. Giant body transformation has a short duration. You should look at the whole of the match. It was a battlefield that only I could see. The two thoughts that didn't touch each other were depicting a battle that hadn't yet occurred. I felt pure admiration and appreciated the view. How much time passed? I reached the result of this confrontation faster than anyone in the dome. I jumped and headed to the rooftop of a nearby building overlooking the dome. Then I opened my mouth. Han Suyang. I know you are watching. The space behind me split apart and Han Suyang appeared from the darkness. How did you know? Han Suyang was wearing a blue combat suit that clung to her body. Perhaps it was a hidden piece from Peaceland. You couldn't stay away after hearing the loudspeaker. Che. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon shows its teeth towards you. As expected, Han Suyang chose her sponsor. Han Suyang approached me and sat on the railing. It was fun. Why did you call me? Why are you watching? Don't you want to clear the scenario? Ah, I need to clearly know who the strongest is, wait. You know who it is? I know. Who? 
Is it you, Jong Hyuk? No. Han Su Young sighed with relief. I'm glad. If that bastard dies, the world will go back. Now this isn't difficult. Han Su Young pulled out a dagger. The Salvation Leader, are you going to kill him? I shook my head towards Han Su Young, who was going to descend. He isn't the strongest. No? Then who? Who should I kill? I silently stared at Han Su Young. After a while, her eyes filled with disbelief. Don't tell me? I nodded. Let's decorate the finale of this scenario.